الحمد لله والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى يا ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك ولعظيم سلطانك O oh our Lord praise belongs to you as is becoming of the magnificence of your countenance and the greatness of your power سبحانك لا نحسي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك Glory to you, we cannot praise you, we cannot encompass your praise as you have praised yourself. Alhamdulillah, nahmadullah, la ni'mati, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, praise Allah. And we praise Allah for the blessing of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And we ask Allah, we turn to Allah with this praise that He opened for us moments in which he gazes upon us with the eye of mercy and he connects us to the Habib, the Prophet of Mercy Sallallahu Alaihi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam and the Quran that was revealed upon him and his mention of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's names and attributes and that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and we ask you Ya Allah Ya Arham ar -Rahimeen. that Allah by this praise we ask him to grant us to follow his beloved in, in vision, in vision of the beloved and in vision of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the mirror of the beloved. In khair and lutf and afiyah. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Zain al wujud, sahib al maqam al mahmud, wa ma'din al karmi wal jud. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa farraj an kurubi ummatihi wa aslih shu'unahum ya barru ya wadud. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Nurika sari wa maridika jari. Wajmani bihi fi kulli atwari wa iyahum wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ya nur. Wa alayna ma'ahum wa fihim bi rahmatika ya arhama rahimin. Alhamdulillah. In the likes of this blessed month, Allah gifted us His gift of mercy, His Prophet of mercy, and Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And we studied His early years sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in which that radiant, blessed, beloved, pure, honest, trustworthy Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam grew up through those various phase and his phases until he reached the age of 40 and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised him to that station of prophecy, the station of receiving revelation as Sheikh Ibrahim mentioned of wahi, which is the reception of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the reception of the heart of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of the speech of God subhanahu wa ta'ala, the speech of Allah, that beginningless eternal attribute of the essence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we see him in this phase when he's receiving revelation and surah after surah, we see the meaning that he articulated, Adda bani rabbi fa ahsana ta'dibi that my Lord was the one who did tarbiya of me. My Lord was the one who reared me, brought me gradually from stage to stage, and he did so well. And then he mentions later in hadith, wa amarani bi makaram al akhlaq And he commanded me to have magnificent character. So we find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of an Nabi Muhammad, speaking to an Nabi Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, Iqra bismi rabbika ladhi khalaq. Recite in the name of your Lord who created. We find him in the next surah that was revealed. Ma anta bi ni'mati rabbika bi majnoon. You by the gift of who? He didn't say the gift of Allah. He didn't say the gift of Ar-Rahman. He didn't say the gift of Al-Haq and all of that's true. He said bi ni'mati rabbika. You by the gift of this Lord who himself subhanahu wa ta'ala rears you and gives you tarbiya and shapes you and then we find him wa inna ka la ala khuluq wa inna laka la ajran ghayra mannun wa inna la wa inna ka la ala khuluq azim surely you have an unceasing reward and surely you 
O Messenger, beloved, you whose, whose tarbiyah is directly at the hands of his Lord, you who is the first object of the revelation, and one of the things we see in all of these early surahs of the Quran, Allah is speaking to a Nabi Muhammad in the second person singular. This is just as it was when Allah first created the Prophet Sallallahu There's only Allah and a Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi wa He is the first objective of all of these verses. And he was shaped by these verses. And then Allah declares that you are upon a magnificent character. His character was the Quran that was revealed upon him. And from him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that light flows to the rest of the creation, sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. So Allah says, wa innaka la ala khuluqin azim, and surely you are upon a magnificent character. So what was this character of the Habib, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that was shaped by the revelation of his Lord, the Quran of his Lord? When Sayyidatina Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha wa ardaha was asked, about the character, Ya Um Ya Umm al Mu'minin, Ambi'ini an Akhlaqi Rasulillah. O mother of the faithful, tell me about the character of Allah's Messenger. What did she reply? Alasta taqra al Quran. Don't you recite the Quran? The, the questioner replies, Bala, the inna khuluqa nabi Allahi kan al Quran. Surely the character of Allah's Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was the Quran. That was his character. That was, you could say, character is, is the image of the human heart. His heart was the Quran, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said in, in, in the hadith about the, the revelation of the cave, in one of them, I came forth, and it was though those verses that were revealed were written upon my heart, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So in Ahmed's version of this tradition and others, the questioner continues to ask, about this Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he said, tell me about the Qiyam. Tell me about the prayers, specifically the night prayers of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So what did the mother of the faithful, how did the mother of the faithful respond? She responded with those verses that the Lord of this beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had shaped his Qiyam with. Don't you recite Ya ayyuhal muzammil. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this early phase, He reveals these verses to Al-Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if you and I want to understand how do we stand before the Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, how do we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the night, we need look no further than what Allah instructed His Habib Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya ayyuhal muzammil. O you who are enfolded, and Allah speaks to him in these early verses, and this is prior to him being ordered to proclaim the revelation publicly. Allah speaks to him, Al Muzammil, Al Mudathir, and later he will say, Al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But here he's speaking to him gently and kindly. And in the second person, Ya ayyuhal Muzammil, O you who's enfolded in your covers, what do you do in my night? What do you do in this night, my beloved? You who, your Lord is giving you tarbiyah. What does your Lord tell you to do in the night? Stand. So Jibril comes and orders the Nabi Muhammad to stand before his Lord. How do you stand before the Lord, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Stand the night in prayer. Half of it or more, except a little, half of the night. Half of the night in prayer. Half of the night in prayer. And wasn't he the one who would pray until his two feet swelled and say, shall I not be a grateful slave? Or increase that two thirds of the night or decrease that. He would stand that. And Sayyidatina Aisha mentions the early community that was their standing in prayer. That it was obligatory for them to stand by night to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they would stand until their feet swelled and then Nabi Muhammad he stood until his feet swelled until the end of his life. Qiyam for him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is an obligation. Qiyam for us is a recommendation but it's an obligation of love. An obligation of ittiba of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
قم الليل إلا قليلا نصفه وانقص منه قليلا أو زد عليه and then what did Allah say ورتل القرآن ترتيلا and recite the Quran gradually clearly methodically رتل القرآن ترتيلا how was the recitation of الحبيب صلى الله عليه وسلم مدى مدى right he would recite with elongations he would recite with pause and what's amazing about this verse is if we say that this was just the third of the revelations that he received right after the first verses of Iqra and after those verses of Noon wal Qalam he received Ya Ayyuhal Muzammil in the Riwayah of Ibn Abbas how many verses did Al Habib Sallallahu know? what was the Qiyam of Al Habib Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at that time? Nisfahu wa winkus minhu qalilan aw zid alayhi half of the night or decrease that or increase that Sayyidatina Aisha radiallahu anha wa ardaha said the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam might stand an entire night reciting one verse of the Quran. Right? Al-Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and this is when he had much more Quran to recite he might recite a entire night a verse of the Quran. What are the meanings that are unfolding on the heart of Al Habib sallallahu alaihi wasallam from each of these verses? Wa ratil al Quran tartila, right? And we, each of us, if we want to say that we're muhibbin of Al Habib sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we want to be ahl sunnah wal jamaa. We want to be a people of tarbiya, right? That we have a path to Allah subhanahu wa taala. We have to have a recitation. We have to have a, a, a qiyam. And may Allah grant us to follow him in his qiyam sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ratil al-Qur'ana tartila inna sanulqi alayka kawlan thaqila Surely we will cast upon you a weighty word. Right? And, and, and Shaykh Ibrahim referenced how heavy the Qur'an that was revealed upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was upon him. As he mentioned, the Sahaba might cover him while he was enduring the weight of revelation. His head might be on, 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 on the thigh of Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu and he, and he would say that it was as though my thigh was going to break. He might be riding a mount and the animal couldn't endure the weight of the Qur'an that was revealed upon him and it would have to kneel. Inna sanulqi alayka kawlan thaqila. Right? But Allah in that qiyam and in that recitation of, of Allah's book Allah is rearing a Nabi Muhammad sallallahu and preparing him to endure the weight of what was revealed upon him and from the meaning of that weight is the taklif the, uh, the, the commands that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give with that revelation. So if we have a path, the path is heavy. Dhikr might knock you out, Quran might make you faint, it might make you weak, it might make you sick as it did say to Umar, we have to have a recitation of this Quran to prepare us for the weight of that which will descend upon us just as Al Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah prepared him for the weighty word that he had caused to be revealed upon him by his recitation of that book Allah orders his Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this early period to begin making salah. Salah, we understand that these five daily prayers that we pray, that that was revealed on Laylatul Isra wal Mi'raj. But we shouldn't understand that the early community didn't pray, that they didn't perform salah. As we understand Surah Al Muzammil, that's from the first of the verses to be revealed on Al Habib sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. In the early days, in the first days of his receiving revelation, Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam teaches the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to pray. So Ibn Ishaq, he narrates that Jibreel alayhi salam took the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the side of a valley and stomped with his heel on the ground and a spring of Zamzam water comes up. And Jibril himself instructs the Prophet وسلم, how to perform wudu. And then Jibril himself leads the Prophet وسلم, in a prayer that is two rakahs. And that is how their prayer was in the early community in sets of two rakahs. Rakatain, rakatain. So he leads the Prophet وسلم, in prayer. 
And the Prophet sallallahu what has the Prophet sallallahu been doing since he's like 38 years old? He's been secluding himself in the cave of Hira, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and now he's just been instructed in how to perform salah. So he re returns from this first prayer that he prayed to his Lord, and he had found Qurrat Ain. He had found his utmost joy, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As he said, Wujurilat Qurratu Aini fi salah. He found that which he was looking for, and his heart was gladdened, and where does he go? He goes to Sayyidina Khadija radiallahu anha, wa ardaha, and he takes her by the hand. And he brings her to this spring that, that Jibril has just brought forth from this valley of Zamza. And he shows her how to perform ablution. And he leads her in prayer, and thus we have one man and one woman on the surface of this earth, the only people making salah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how did they do their salah? They did so sirran. Right? They secretly prayed. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, leading Sayyidina Khadija. And then young Ali bin Abi Talib, radiallahu anhu, who's living in the house of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he sees the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and Sayyidina Khadija the next day praying. And he asks, what is this? Right? What is this that you're doing, O Muhammad? So the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what does he say? And each of us, we need to take this to heart. Take this to heart what Allah has given you and I. Hada deen Allah He said, This is the deen of Allah that He has selected for Himself. And He has sent with it His messengers. What you're on when you make salah, that is the deen of Allah that Allah has chosen. That is the deen with which Allah has sent all of the messengers, and particularly the foremost of them, the greatest of creation. When you gather as a household, and all of us should do so, we should gather as households with our men and our women and our children, and we worship Allah with this salah of Sayyidina Muhammad. That is the deen of Allah and the deen of the Nabi Muhammad and all of the prophets and messengers that you're worshiping with. He said, so Sayyidina Ali said, this is Allah's deen that he's chosen and sent his messengers with. Right? And that is part of the message. I summon you to Allah alone. I summon you to Allah alone and to His worship and that you disbelieve in Allah wal Uzza. Right? So Sayyidina Ali, he says, this is something new that I've never heard before. I can't make this decision without consulting Abu Talib. Right? And the Prophet Sallallahu disliked this because he, didn't, he hadn't yet announced the revelation. So he asked Sayyidina Ali to conceal it. And in this first phase, the da'wah was secret. However, we find the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam First inviting the immediate members of the, his household, and we find, and that's from his miraculous character, all of the members of his household embracing Islam. Right? So we ask him to conceal it. Sayyidina Ali spends the night until Allah guides him. So he comes to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and he says, what was that that you presented to me? And he said, I, 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 I present to you, I invite you to bear witness that there is no God but Allah alone and that you not associate any partner with him, and that you disbelieve in Allah wal Uzza, that you disbelieve in those idols that Quraysh worship. So Sayyidina Ali embraces Islam. So that now we had a Nabi Muhammad, a man, Sayyidina Khadija bin Khuwaylid, a woman, Sayyidina Ali bin, Abu Ta bin Abi Talib, a, 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 a young man, a child, and we have this household, and these are the only people performing salah on the surface of this earth. Al-Bayhaqi and others narrate from a man named Afif al-Kindi who was a merchant and a friend of al-Abbas. And again, these are the early days of the community of the Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this Afif, he comes during the Hajj time to do business with al-Abbas. And while he's meeting Abbas, he says a young man comes out of a tent performs ablution, he performs wudu, he watches until the sun has gone beyond the zenith and then he stands and begins to make salah. And then after him a boy comes, a fatah, a young man who's, who's uh, pubescent, Sayyidina Ali at 10 years old. He comes out and he joins and he begins to pray. And then after him comes out Sayyidina Khadija. So if this, um, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam bowed, Sayyidina Ali bowed and Sayyidina Khadija bowed. The Prophet ﷺ prostrated, Sayyidina Ali prostrated, and Sayyidina Khadija prostrated. And they hadn't seen this. He said, what is this deen? 
He said, this is my nephew. And he declares that he is the prophet of Allah. And this deed and this that he's performing is salah. And he declares to us, and this is in the earliest phase, he said that the, the, the treasures of the emperors of Persia and Rome will come to him. So Afif said, if only I had embraced Islam at that day, so I could have joined in this prayer along with Sayyidina Ali. But that was how they were in the early days, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, associating no partner with him. Stand the night except a little, half or less or more. وَرَتِّلَ الْقُرْآنَ tartila. Surely we will cause a weighty word to descend upon you. We ask Allah to grant us from the meanings of this weighty word. And that Allah grant us to endure the, the, the commands of this weighty word. And surely by day, Surely the standing in night, it's more given for the heart to conform to the recitation and for the recitation to be accurate. Surely you by day have a lengthy occupation. Each of us has things we're engaged in in the day. So what? We have to have nashia talayl. Worship by night. And then what did Allah say? Right? And what we find in these early verses is the Lord of an Nabi Muhammad instructing personally an Nabi Muhammad. Inna laka fin nahari sabhan tawila. What does Allah say? Wad kurisma rabbik. Wad kurisma rabbik. And he said, and mention the name of your Lord. Wad kurisma rabbik wa tabatal ilayhi tabtila. Mention the name of your Lord and devote yourself to him entirely. Have total ikhlas to the Lord, total inkita to the Lord. This from the earliest teachings that a Nabi Muhammad received from his Lord is Wad Kurisma Rabbik. What's the name of the Lord Muhammad? Ismuhu Allah. And Nabi Muhammad, he took his adkar, he took his al awrad from his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, some of us, we have a sheikh and what have you. He, he allowed me to do dhikr of the name. al ismul Adam. Here we find in these first verses, Allah instructing a Nabi Muhammad to do dhikr of his name. وَذْكُرْ اسْمَ Rabbik. Mention the name of your Lord. And the Lord of a Nabi Muhammad is what? Is Allah. La ilaha illallah. We ask you, O oh Allah. Ya arhamar rahimin. Ya arhamar rahimin. Ya Allah. We ask you, O oh Allah, by this haq of this Prophet Muhammad, upon whom who you revealed your Quran, whom you ordered to stand, we ask you, O oh Allah, to grant us a standing that drinks from the standing of a Nabi Muhammad. We ask you a dhikr that drinks from the dhikr of a Nabi Muhammad. We ask that you answer our prayers, Ya Allah, Ya Arham ar rahimin Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyumu, Ya Dhal ja Jalal, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Arham ar rahimin and we ask you, O oh Allah, to remove the veils between us and Nabi Muhammad and the prayer of a Nabi Muhammad and the recitation of a Nabi Muhammad and the dhikr of a Nabi Muhammad. We ask you, O oh Allah, that each of us have, that each of us had qiyam by night and that each of our households have qiyam by night. We ask you, O oh Allah, Ya Allah, we ask you that each of our households, our husbands, our wives, and our children, that we have establishment of salah, an establishment of qiyam, an establishment of dhikr, an establishment of salawat ala Nabi Muhammad. And we complain to you, O oh Allah, of states that have departed from this. Ya Allah, we complain of our heedlessness and our departure from the salat of Nabi Muhammad. We complain of our neglect of the qiyam of Nabi Muhammad. Ya Allah, aghithna. We ask you to rescue us from these states and grant us states that are pleasing to you and pleasing to a Nabi Muhammad. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Please excuse me.